They are big, scary looking, but are only deadly to cicadas. Cicada killer wasps, as they're called, are out hunting and can be pretty intimidating up close. But as New Center 7's Caroline Reinwald reports, they do not care much about us. I spoke to a professor over at Wright State University who is an expert on these insects. He tells me while these wasps may look terrifying, they're pretty harmless to us. If you're like many people who have a healthy dose of fear for anything that flies, buzzes, or stings, you may see these outside and want to take off running. But as it turns out, these and yellow wasps are only dangerous if you're a cicada. The life cycle of this wasp it coincides with their emergence. Don Cipollini at Rice State University says these cicada killers, also known as cicada hawks, come out once a year towards the end of summer to feed on the noisy bugs we know so well. The females will capture a cicada, paralyze it with a sting, and uh, basically bury it in a burrow and lay an egg on it. Okay, and that cicada, which is still alive while it's even buried, will become food for the larva. The wasps help keep the cicada population in check and pollinate our flowers. The male wasps do not have any stingers and the females mostly keep to themselves, burrowing into the ground alone. They can double or triple in size compared to these, but don't want anything to do with you. So if you were to be stung by a female cicada killer, I, which has not happened to me, but from what I've read, it doesn't really even hurt. So if you see one of these, don't be afraid. Cipollini says they're safe to be around and will be gone with the cicadas in about a month or two. Now, if you have any other questions about these wasps, feel free to check out our story online at whio.com that gives you a little bit more interesting facts about these fascinating creatures. In Franklin, Caroline Reinwald, New Center 7.